Welcome back. Uh, this is Persona 72 and Bolt the Bear, and we're about to finish this guy off. Yep, running sequence. It's your, I died. It's your turn. Okay. All the pressure's on me now. Stay loose! Prepare for war! Yes, because this is a one-hit kill. Which I learned at the end of last episode, if you saw. Do I? Oh, I don't even have to hold the button to run. Oh, he does on his own? Yeah. Maybe that's why he messed up. I would just watch out for lasers. Those lasers? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that, honestly. Jump in. Buttons? Yes. I hit Y. Boy, you messed up. Nope. Because... Cut down his <laughs> spine. I was just a little bit to the left. It's not a perfect cut. See? Yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dude, yeah. I was about... Three inches with my blade in, but because I'm kind of cool, completely in half. <laughs> they uh augmented his pot belly. And so if he gets shot in his pot belly, mm -hmm. he doesn't go through. Him. No, it's because he's American. He's fat. And he drinks beer all the time. That's true. And he's bald. And he's southern. <laughs> Just want to throw any more stereotypes. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's got that American smirk too. Same as Jesse and Sam. He's actually Spanish, so. And he looks. Spanish. The hell? An augmented dude can jump that high. Hey guys, round two, coming through. He's gonna do that. I love this part. Yep. Drift. Tokyo Drift right there. But they're an actor. Yeah, but he's from Tokyo. I don't know. I don't know where Raiden's actually from, but the game's made in Japan, so. Tokyo Drift. So he's just assuming. Yep, pretty much. I'm gonna guess you have to cut your way down the train. No, dude. You actually talk peacefully with everyone you come across. Yep. Uh, we haven't cut anything yet, so... Okay. Cut in the air. Free running mode. Free running. Did you jump like that or did you jump like that? Hey! Did. It's some dudes. Oh! Well, let's strap him up real quick. Too little, too late, hero. I read that as bro. He would. <laughs> <laughs> too little, too late, bro. Mmm, yeah. Yeah. You see oh. the steam coming off of it? Can you imagine how bad that would hurt? What about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Nope. He doesn't have a chin protector. You, you got some real pretty lips, boy. <laughs> He's quick. Almost like a jet. All you're saying. Give war a chance. Oh, I get it. Just give peace a chance. No, it's the opposite. They're so clever. No. Well, they had to have some kind of story. Why? I never understood in like games like this, like how. I mean, well, this one I understand because they're fucking robotic. But like, people always stab and then, like with one hand they'll hold a dead body on the blade off the side, like adrenaline. Okay. I guess adrenaline. This is impressive. Out of my way. He's all yours, Sam. Let's go. Let's, let's tango. I'm really surprised he doesn't say that. It takes yeah. two to tango. Get him. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. No, I know what happens. Yeah. See, I don't mind scripted sequences like this. I hate them. I wish they at least... You can't beat them. I'd wish they at least, in this one, let you feel like you might be doing something. Yeah. And not half bad. 
Pretty much tells you you suck. Well, he just kind of fucked your day up right there. But I'm on the roof. Now you're not anymore. You're gonna beat my ass and tell me what it is, though, aren't you? That's what every bad guy does. He gives you the way to beat him. Happens in animes. It just happens. Oh, I, was to... I got it. Remember that time he was so much better than you? Remember that time I was allowed to collect now and it was pointless? You did not your weapon its purpose. See? Oh! Dude, he just wants you to have scars like him. Oh, wow! I never realized that you would technically have a scar after that cut, just like him. In the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. I'm gonna cut your chin off. That's a thing with, with this game. It is. No, that's necessary. Flaming sword. What you gotta make it cooler? He's gonna cauterize the room for you, bro. <laughs> That's how that works. So in reality, he's helping. And then he's gonna use the explosion to propel himself forward. Oh, I forgot about his gun blade. Gun sheath. Oh! How insulting would it have been if he hit him with the hilt? <laughs> I think about that every time I watch it. <laughs> Not again. Implying this happened once before. And it's the left arm. Are you alright? You are almost clear of the tunnel. Just hang on. Cut me down. I'm just gonna. I think you have to run. I think you have to go past him because this looks like the end of a train. Uh, I kind of want to jump. Where are you going? Oh, you. He's gonna let you go. I'm gonna cut you. Oh, he hit me in the wrong way. <laughs> he actually hit you off the train. Fingernails. This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. Is that like a jackhammer? <laughs> <laughs> like a drill. <laughs> Shit, when did I get this? <laughs> Not this tool! Where's my ratchet set? He reminds me of Lewis from Resident Evil 4. He does. Could you imagine if Lewis is like this? How short Resident Evil 4 would be? Like, Sadler Leon. would be done. <laughs> Leon would show up at the village. What's going on here? Chink! Nothing anymore, I just finished it. Where you been? All that blood's burting. Do you know? People don't need blood to live. I keep telling you that. I guess. I thought he missed. The, the animator just pulled him up a little bit. Oh, damn. I'm going to float. <laughs> yeah. Rocket power. I'm glad they just <laughs> carry Stinger missiles in their car. It's a military grade vehicle. Why wouldn't they carry Stinger missiles? And that's like it's so shocking, like nowadays planes don't have players. He's a tough bastard, I would have cried if I got my eye cut. Oh, oh! Jarred. You'd think they'd have the technology to shoot around mountains? You think he'd be worried about all the blood he's losing right now through that eye and through his left arm? Like, I'm no expert, but that looks like a good few liters of blood. But it's his robot side. <laughs> He's have a robot side. Kind of. He's human right now. Kind of a robot. You don't know, Brandon. You He's got... You He's don't got... know Raiden like I know Raiden. <laughs> how many of the Metal Gear games have you played? And how much do you make fun of him? I have all of them. You just recently got it, yeah. So I know him. Wait, do you have four? Yeah. I want to play four. Can no. I play? Dude, I because you don't know Raiden like I know Raiden. <laughs> Did you play two? I have it and I beat it. God, don't play it. Hated it. I hated two. 
like, I, st I like the story. I just couldn't get into the controls. I hated it. It's like X Men. Um, but I want to play four because I don't have a PS3, so I need to borrow that. You can overheat it. So far, so good. Robotic chin. I've got a clean visual. That's the chin of a real man. Sadly, I don't have it. Mine's covered by nice beard. See, even he has a chin protector. That's something I would like to say too. I'm glad I said that. Uh, my little character doesn't have a beard. I, on the other hand, rock a righteous beard. Just so that's known. I just want that to be known. That's all. You feel proud of yourself? I do so up. much. It's supposed to be about the games and. No one has got a beard either. I mean, Jesse and Sam's got five o'clock shadow. Doesn't count. I already told you that. Absorbing electrolytes. He just drink a Gatorade and get the same effect. <laughs> Takes a little bit more. Two Gatorades. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's so random. It is, and it's so hard to do, too. I guess it's because he lost his left arm. Got it chopped off. Maybe. That must have happened a lot. Left arm. Did, did they take Raiden's left arm to upgrade things? No, maybe that's why they need it. Look at all the capitalists. Capitalism. Land ho! Three mics out. Yeah. That's three of you. Is that a fat joke? Yeah. Right. Then we have time for a quick brief. That's what you said before Montenegro. Just hear me about it. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left so smart. The president and most of the cabinet hey, the black guy? Are killed. Oh, military oh. oh. I was like, I feel like his job is to the collect data. That would be why he's smart. With his Bluetooth. The cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Dramatic. Dun dun dun. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015. Oh, shit, that's two years from now. Get robotic tunes in two years. Not even. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is jet stream sand. Smurf. The only problem I see. I kind of like the nickname. I, I, I never understood this problem with the nickname. I mean, because once someone beats your ass the first time, you can't really have a problem with anything about them. <laughs> Aside from getting your ass whooped. I have a big problem with that. Do you remember that time you became a human missile? No, because it hasn't happened yet. Ryan does. <laughs> Here we go. The best mode for transportation. Human missile? Yep. Uh, do we have that technology? I'm not, I'm not quite sure if we can. And then you can just back, 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 wow. Back flip out of it. Bad flip. Fuck, I can't. Words, Brandon. They don't come to me easily, man. I told you the other day, Wild Goats, I looked at the lady and I was like, I couldn't say over easy, so I was like, I want to be able to dip toast in it after a five minute pause of her just looking at me. So Red kept, eye. That's why I kept the bandage. <laughs> you need some visine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really just say you need some visine? He had a red eye, man. That's dry eyes. Dry eyes. Dry eyes. Give eyes. Cut. That was just a demonstration of uh, the cutting power of the new riding. Oh, they're cloaked! So why didn't they? Why don't you ever get stealth camo? Why did Why did they uncloak themselves? Because bad guys are dumb. That's what they do. Cut, cut. Give me that. Both of them. Well, this guy just watches his friends die, and then you're just like, yeah, whatever. Cut. Dude, you're really good at that. Is it automatically locked onto when you do it? Um, not all the time. See, I think it's because I use the right stick, so I have to like move and aim. Because I miss sometimes. I end up like cutting a body like six or seven times before I even 
And then you cut air and it magically is like, hey, electrolytes. I have done that, <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to shock people. And your film? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. Like herpes. TNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jet yeah. to every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still a human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than no. you do. No. If riding the slaves and they're not people. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops and the public their food. PMCs they are true. Electronites. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. The SOB out of the picture, why do militaries need a new edge on the market? We got it. <sighs> still got those Metal Gear Solid length cutscenes though, I can play that. Yeah. yeah. They're beautiful. Frankenstein, Dracula, they got all the horror movie villains in this. They sewed their fate when they took this job. Oh, wow. I'm deep. I wasn't paying attention to that thought. I'm sorry. What do you say? <laughs> you don't deserve it now. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. New life motto. Let's increase the peace, guys. Increase the peace. Make a song. I got Well, it looks like this is our time up again. Uh, next time we increase the peace. So, I look forward to that. See you guys next time. See ya.